Hi everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Um, today's video is on a couple of exam questions. Well, this one in particular is about two rectangles. And what we're going to do is over the next few days, um, we're going to upload some videos on topics which kind of come as worded questions or problem solving questions for sort of those borderline grade 4, grade 5 students. Okay, so we're just going to go over these topics or these questions um, and show you how they can be solved. So let's get started with this particular question here. So in the question, they give you two rectangles. The length and the width is given. So for rectangle A, the length is 4x, width is 2.5, 2.5. And the other way around for B, so you got 7 and 2x minus 3. So it says all measurements are in centimeters. The area of rectangle A is equal to the area of rectangle B. So at that point, I would underline this. Sorry, let me just use a different color, right? Here we go. So I'm going to underline this. The area of rectangle A is equal to the area of rectangle B. So that one statement, one sentence, is asking me to do three things. It's asking me to find the area of rectangle A, it's asking me to find the area of rectangle B, and then it's asking me to make them equal to each other. That's what I need to interpret from the question. So let's find the area of rectangle A. So to find area of the rectangle, you can say length times width or even base times height if you want. Okay, so you can have 4x. So the length is 4x times 2.5. So that will give you 10x. Okay, that's the area of rectangle A. Now we work out the area of rectangle B. Again, length times width or base times height. You have 7 times. Now, 2x minus 3, there's two terms here, right? So because of two terms, we're going to multiply it in a pair of brackets. So we multiply 7 by 2x. 7 times 2x is 14x. And then 7 times minus 3 is minus 21. Okay, so... We found the area of rectangle A, we found the area of rectangle B. The next step is to make them equal to each other. So I do, let me do it at the bottom here. 10x is equal to 14x minus 21. So what I'm going to do is I want to make x the subject so I get all the x's to one side so I subtract well the way I do that is I look at which x has the larger coefficient coefficient is a number in front of the x the number that multiplies by the x so I've got 14x on the right and 10x on the left and I always try and get rid of the smaller coefficient so I subtract both sides by 10x And I end up with 0 over here. And on the right hand side I have 4x minus 21. So I need to get rid of the 21 on the right hand side. So I've got 4x equals 21. And then I divide both sides. Oh, 
by 4. So x is going to be, well, 5.25. Okay, and how did I get that? I actually did the division. So 21 divided by 4. 4 goes into 21 5 times. Remainder 1. 4 goes into 10 2 times. Remainder 5. Sorry, remainder 2. And 4 goes into 25 times. So it's 5.25. Okay, so we found the value of x. Now the question says work out the perimeter of rectangle B. So now the last bit is the perimeter of B. And that's equal to, well, to find the perimeter, I need to add up all the sides. So this one here is 2x minus 3, and that's 7. So I'm going to add all four sides up. So I'm going to have 7 plus 7 plus 2x minus 3 plus another 2x minus 3. Can I fit it in? Okay. So I just managed to fit it in. Okay, the like terms is 7, 7, minus 3, minus 3. And we've got 2x and 2x. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange that just for the benefit of everyone. So I'll have 2x plus 2x plus 7 plus another 7. And the sign belongs to the number, so minus 3, minus 3. Okay, so that's going to give me 4x and 7 plus 7 is 14. And 14 minus 3 is 11, minus 3 is 8. So it's 4x, sorry, plus 8. A few mistakes today, sorry about that. 4x plus 8. So 14 minus 6 is 8. And that is the perimeter of B. That's how you answer this question. Thanks for watching.